Crap. Oh. Sorry, hang on a minute. Like, I gotta close my door. There's nobody in the office. It's 8.08. It's 8.08 p.m. Look at this great shirt. What a great shirt. Slow turn for you. Beautiful, beautiful. TGIF, it is Friday. I am staying late. I uh, I did work. Now I'm, now I'm doing not work. And I'm sticking around because... Oh, I didn't do that thing either. He was working until 10, so there's no reason for me to go home. I, I can go home for some other reason, I'm sure. But uh, What are we going to do with these? Okay. Why did I start? I guess it's to keep me from having to worry about finding things to talk about later. Can you even hear me when my back's to you like this? All right. Friday, 8.09 p.m., 73 degrees. I heard our dew point was 39 earlier today. Can you believe that? And here I am. Uh, it's the last day before a two-week vacation, so I'm just tidying up all the loose ends. And part of me still thinks I should take the laptop home, but the other part of me says, eh, you're 10 minutes away if you really got to do some work. You could drive over here. But that other part of me says, if you really got to do some work, you could do it at home in your underwear. And then that other part of me says, well, you could come to work in your underwear, and people probably wouldn't notice. People might notice. It depends how crafty I was and which path I took to get to this office. Mm. Here's to you. I'm looking at my Twitter feed right now all the great television shows I should be watching because I'm at home. The Vikings are playing preseason football, and there's that one guy. There's one guy who wants you to know how he's not watching the preseason football. Every couple of minutes, he's talking about how great the Minnesota Lynx game is. And it's like, dude, I am glad you like the WNBA, but it is not happening on Twitter, and you've got to stop. You're just, making, you're just digging yourself a deeper hole. Man, they just don't stop talking. The irony is, it's not ironic, but Kim and I have tickets to our first ever Lynx game on Sunday. Uh, it was a, it's one of those, we are already a season ticket holder of the Wolves. Can't we con you into coming to a Lynx game? And you'll love it so much, you'll become a season ticket holder there. And I don't think they get it, because first of all, it's the WNBA. Second of all, the Lynx actually win, so what's the what's the sport in going to see that? They're the defending WNBA champs, by the way. Shut up. God, Lynx, Lynx, Lynx. It, it's, it's even worse than all these Vikings tweets, because the Vikings tweets I kind of expect, but the one guy, hey, I'm watching the Lynx, and you really stop talking about the Lynx. The, the game sold out. You can't sell any more tickets to this game. Shut up. Good God Almighty. How are the Vikings doing? The tweets seem to be working pretty well. One of the reasons it's 8.08 and I'm still here is that I watched the webcast of the Nationwide Series Qualifying, the road race at Montreal. My favorite course because that's the one that Boris won at. Boris isn't in the race, by the way. I guess he's too good for the Nationwide Series now that he's won one. Uh, where am I? Anyway. I was going to... Not a little. One of the things I was going to talk about yesterday I didn't get to because I ended up on some tangent that took me God knows where. That's okay. You guys kind of ended up having your own discussion. But on the W... Pardon me. Comments from somebody. I think my computer is trying to back itself up right now, so it's furiously fighting with me over resources. 
I'm like, please display this web page. And it's like, no, I think I'm going to do what I want. And then maybe in five or ten seconds, I'll let you have control for about two seconds. And then this and that. Ha! Pie Man liked the video from Wednesday, which was six and a half minutes of me going, uh. Pie Man has a habit of liking videos before he watches them. And I told him, it's going to bite you. It's going to bite you. And finally he admitted I was right. Well, damn, you were right. I shouldn't have liked this on Facebook before watching it. I think I had that shirt in 1973. It was ugly then, too. Didn't like my, my plaid uh, tablecloth shirt. What do you think of this one? You wouldn't believe how cheap it was because it was 75% off at Walgreens when I bought it. Yes, can you believe it? Someone didn't buy it until it was marked down 75%. If you go to Walgreens, don't buy anything that hasn't already been marked down 50%. You just got to wait. Because there's always, you know, unless you're hungry and you're dying and you need some food. Pay regular price for that, I guess. But why are you buying food at Walgreens? Unless you want that Nice brand. I love, the, you know, you've seen that, right? Nice, that's the name of the brand. Anyway. With your current viewership, you can probably name all 17 of us who continue to watch these every day, too, right? Maybe. Probably five or six of you, I don't want to know who you're watching, and I'm glad that you haven't told me. I anxiously await an even more zombified, which you spelled wrong, by the way. You spelled it zombie-ified. Oof. Today, I did something I'm not proud of. I trolled a guy who claimed to be a writer-editor. He made one of his Facebook comments. He was mad that he was not attributed for writing a tweet that set off a chain of events, all of which had to deal with the story that nobody cared about, uh, Woodbury police blotter item about dudes in full-length spandex suits getting freak, freaking out people. Anyway, you can go to bringmeofthenews.com and see if you can find it. So he wrote this big, long thing, and I wrote, I decided that I had to troll him, so I proceeded to proofread his comment and point out his commas, his misspellings, and, and I said, but that's some mighty fine writing slash editing otherwise, because he had writer-editor. This is, I don't know why I'm telling you why I'm trolling people. Don't troll people. Please don't follow my example. What was the point of that? I don't remember. Let's go to Aaron's comment. I stopped watching at episode 100. Oh, around 100. My God, man, that's like eight or nine hours worth of videos. You will never catch up. I'll probably catch up again later. No, you won't. It's so much time to catch up on, and these get kind of dated. Really? I think they all have kind of a timeless quality about them, other than the fact that I say what day of the week it is. You could probably watch this any day, and it would make as much sense. Well, I don't know. I do occasionally refer to events that are to come or have happened. But really, if you're not watching the NASCAR races, it's new to you. You're not going to know. Lise responded to her husband saying, Truly, your unwavering support of friends and loved ones is legendary. On the other hand, they're still married. Going on, what, nine years? Ten years? Will it be ten years? Is it already nine years? Did you guys get married the same year that I got married? I can't remember. My wedding anniversary will be the 9th. I can remember that. So I've got one up on most gentlemen. My anniversary, by the way, is October 4th, in case you want to send flowers. I would prefer other gifts, but... I was talking with my coworker Steve today, and somehow we started talking about Amazon Prime. And I have some gift certificates, Amazon Fun Money... Did you know you can't spend it on Amazon Prime? That would be like the perfect way for me to spend money without actually spending cash. I could burn off one of these gift certificates for the 80 bucks for the year of Amazon Prime. But can't do that. You can only pay for Amazon Prime with a credit card. I don't know what the deal is there. Is it like some part of their insidious plot to collect credit card numbers? Or if they're going to have that cash up front, it has to be cash and it can't be cash someone already paid for a gift certificate because that's different cash because that's cash in the past and this is I don't know 
my 10 minutes is over. I probably had other stuff I want to talk about, but it's all going to have to wait. And by the time I come back, September 4th, we will have totally forgotten whatever it was I want to talk about. So, two weeks. I have promised that uh, during one of my many trips to the State Fair, I will attempt to document the food that I ate. And I don't know if that's with a tout or a tweet or just a post on the W later, but you better find me. You better find me on all them social network places if you want to hear about the State Fair, boy -o. There's also uh, going to be a couple uh, concerts that we're going to. There's an ISR concert coming up. Very excited about that. There's an F Deluxe concert coming up. There's actually going to be two in one night, and I'm going to one and probably not the other. But who cares about any of this, right? Uh, assuming that I'm still alive on September 4th, I'll be back to tell you all about it and to catch up on all the wonderful questions you're no doubt going to ask me over the next two and a half weeks. Thanks for watching, though. Uh, if you uh, are watching this before I come back, just go ahead and start over with number one and uh, kill yourself. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I love you. I will see you in uh, 17, 18 days, whatever. Tuesday the 4th. Uh, give to muscular dystrophy. So long.